if good food is what we want for the future. Better tasting food, uh, food that's better for the environment, uh, food that's better for our children, for our community. We've got to look beyond what we're doing now. Uh, we've got to think beyond the farm to table movement, specifically. I say that with a little hesitation because I've been called a farm to table chef, the epitome of a farm to table chef, uh, which is true. I, I have a farm to table, I have two farm to table restaurants. Actually, I have a, a table in the middle of a farm, so <laughs> I've really got a skin in the game here. Um, but I, I, I have learned over the course of, uh, of researching a book I wrote that my evangelism for this movement, which is maybe the most exciting social movement that's happening today, uh, I, it might be a little misplaced. Um, and so I want to take you through my, uh, my humbling education here. And I really started with, with this loaf of bread because um, this is a, a loaf that we're still baking, but we were baking 12 years ago at the restaurant, 10 or 12 years ago. Uh, it's made with 100% whole wheat uh, flour. Uh, and, and so I, I, this, is the, this is the kind of loaf that like, you know, all chefs dream about. You know, it's just, diners just died over this bread. You know, they wanted to sell their firstborn for another slice kind of thing. <laughs> and so obviously it makes chefs look like they're a better chef. So, you know, you're, you're, I said, okay, you know, the book's going to start with this, this bread. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write a book about the recipe of the recipe. You know, what, what makes this wheat taste so delicious? What is the recipe behind it? So I, um, I reached out to the, to the guy who was growing it. His name is um, Klaus Martens. He was responsible for this wheat, this emmer wheat, this very old variety of, of wheat that's um, from biblical times, actually. And, and it has this kind of flavor that's just jaw-droppingly delicious. Anyway, um, so. I went up to Klaus. Klaus, if we could have the next slide too. Klaus is located up in the in the Finger Lakes region of upstate New York. There's 1,500 to 2,000 acres surrounding me of grain, um, and you know, I, I I I looked around and I didn't see any wheat. What I saw instead was was barley and and millet and uh, and rye, and I saw leguminous crops like um, kidney beans and 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 cow peas, and I saw lots of cover crops, of course, like vetch and, and, and uh, clover, and seed crops, and dozens of others. But I, I saw almost no wheat. And it was really at that moment that um, I had what you could rank as sort of a revelation, which was that here I was supporting this great farmer and this great variety of wheat, remember, because it made me look like a better chef with this loaf of bread. Uh, but I was carrying the farm to table flag and waving it around quite a bit and saying, you know, this is the way of the future. This is the way to opt out of our industrial food chain. This is the way to, to eat better and, and more deliciously. But around me, I was looking at all the things that were going into this Klaus Martin's system, his farming system, that supported the wheat. In other words, he was farming all of these grains um, uh, to support the soil, to give the soil the fertility it needed to give me the wheat that I coveted. But what was I doing as this farm-to-table chef to support the system? I can tell you next to nothing. 